First of all, I would like to thank the mercy of God, great virtue of holy teachers and masters, kindness of transmitters, lectures, temple hosts, staff members, and all of you to give me this opportunity to share with you together the 10, the holy scripture, the 10 exhortations, or you can call kind, kind reminders of Huangmu home leaders. Okay, we are on the page, page 43. Uh, this is very special. Are uh, you going to see Bodhisattvas, channels, and also the saints and Buddha talk about this is a very unique opportunity to hear all the saints of Buddha and also holy mothers, holy mothers, uh, wisdom words. Uh, last time, last two times, we have all the set, all the saints, deities, sages, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, four great guardian kings, a great guardian Buddha, the South Pope, longevity Buddhas, leading all the immortals, and Siddhigawa Bodhisattva, and Guanyin Kuxian, and Wunsu Bodhisattvas. And the four great, the four great guardian of law, Guan Zhang Li Yue, and six patriarch Huinan. Last time, last one was a grand predecessor, leading all the predecessors to talk to all of us. Then this time we're going to continue on page forty-three. Uh, the page forty-three is the one of great immortals of Yin Yu. Yeah, this is a senior immortal of the class of Yin Zi class. She's leading almost all more than, more than 3,000 immortals to, the, to the, this uh, special event. I did the members. We used to have a uh, Dharma classes or maybe staff member classes. In your Bodhisattva, oh, she always come to the class uh, to give us a lot of wisdom words through the channeling. So we are very fortunate and lucky to have her to talk to us uh, so many years in the staff member class, a temporary lectures class, a very special events many years ago. Uh, she has the other name, we call Purisawa of Transformations. Purisawa of Transformations. Let's see what she's gonna give to us the wisdom words. Okay, the first sentence, travel the world and be at ease. One must let go of all the affinities. So he's talking about to all of us, all of us. You know what, when we travel the world and we go to everywhere, uh, like Saints and Buddha, they travel the world, they are at ease. They are helping all the sentient beings and they don't care about themselves. They only care about sentient beings. So that's what we have to learn from all the sense Buddha. When we can go to different places, go to different areas to help, to spread the Tao. Okay, that's like travel the world, but we need to be at ease. That's holy teacher doing the, the best, at ease, very carefree. Oh, okay. Don't care too much about all the material stuff. As long as we have enough to survive, that's all we need. Uh, we don't need to overdo. The other thing we need, to, we must let go of all the affinities. It's very hard. It's very hard to let go of all the affinities because we have to make a living and we pursue the, a lot of material stuff like fame, power, wealth, all the material stuff we need. Buddha teach us, told us, try to let go, okay? Try to let go, don't overdo, especially we are overdue sometimes, okay? We need to manage that. 
Tango in fame and fortune. One is busy, has no time, and always worry, worries daily. That's why, from Buddha point of view, from God point of view, that's why they see us. We always tango, we always care too much in fame and power and fortune. Also, wealth, name, all kinds of stuff, material stuff. We care too much about that. Because from Buddha and God point of view, by the time we are ready to leave this world, we cannot take all those material stuff with us. We cannot take those material stuff with us. We only can take the merits or credit, you want to say credit, merits, or karma, more virtuous with all of us only, okay? We cannot take all this uh, material stuff with us. So Buddha said, we always busy. We have no time. However, we always worry every day. Ah, oh, what well, we worry about that every day. When we are at a job, we worry about job. When we are a family, we worry about, worry about financial situation or harmony in the families or all kinds of stuff, relationships. We worry every day. That's what, who, what happened to all of us. But that's what Buddha want us to what? At ease, at ease, calm down. Take one day at a time, one thing at a time to deal with things, deal with all the people with, around us. But when we deal with all the things, people don't create like or dislike, don't create a karma. Because once we create a karma, once we create like dislike situation, we will create a karma and we will suffer the consequence. So when things come, come in, we deal with them. When it's done, we let it go. We let them go, okay? When things come in, we deal with them. Or when people, when we deal with people, they come in, we deal with them. When it's done, all the things are done, we let them go. We don't create life, dislike situation, to create a karma for ourselves. We don't want to suffer the consequence of karma because of that, okay? So that's a very important concept. So don't tangle in the fame and power and all the material stuff. One must turn their mind positively once you understand the path of principles clearly. So in your Purisawa talk about one, we need to turn our mind very positive. Okay, always our mindset always are always pure. Okay. And we need to understand the path of principle clearly. We know where we're going from here. We know where we're going from here. We want to cultivate, propagate Tao, save all sentient beings. We try to save their spirits, save their soul, save their Buddha nature. That's very important. Okay. We also need to help others. Okay. A lot of people don't have food. They are struggle. We need to help them. That's true. By the time, we also need the help to save their spirits. Okay. That's also the other very critical items. Then she also wants us to strike forward to the step of Tao cultivation. Once future should be good. Okay, so once we push, we know we pass forward the step of Tao cultivation. We know our future, our faith will be very, always good. Don't worry about that. Since the Buddha are next to us, always watching us, helping all of us. Then, usually the, when the Buddha generals, they came down, and others, immortals came down, they will talk about the wisdom words for us first. Then they will give us, they will talk about their positioning, and then give us some more wisdom words, okay? For Inyo Kuriang, I am the great immortal of Inyo, uh, this Inyo Kurisawa. Leading the entire class of Yinzi, uh, the class of Yinzi means more than 3,000 immortals there. Okay. So, so every time they came down, see that how many sense of Buddha came down to this uh, special event. Accompanying Lao Mu to the Mandan world. So, following Lao Mu to the Mandan world. 
we have arrived at the Yi Huo Gong Temple and paid obeisance to Lao Mu. So the Buddha came down, they paid the obeisance to the Lao Mu immediately. That's why we do the same thing. When we go to the temple, we go to take a bow. Before we do anything else, once we enter the temple, first thing we do, we take a bow to the Lao Mu and the Buddhas and saints before we do anything else. We wish Lao Mu's holy grace continues, since being bathed in it. All creations between heaven and earth rejoice and dance in the high spirits. So in your Bodhisattva was talking about, he wish, yeah, we, they all wish because more than just her, more than, there's more than 3,000 immortals come together and with her. We wish all Holy Mother's uh, grace can continue. Yeah, so we are very fortunate and lucky to have Holy Grace with us. Sen Xinping, best in, yeah, Sen Xinping are always uh, enjoy that. And then also all the creation between heaven and earth rejoice, means very happy and very excited. We are always, they are always exciting and dense in the high spirits, spirits. So it's very, very special because we don't, uh, we may not, we just read these scriptures, but at that moment, all the saints of Buddha are so excited, so happy uh, to see that. My worthy brother and sister, see, all the saints of Buddha, Bodhisattva call us worthy brother and sister, okay? Yeah. In your Bodhisattva, when she was alive, she always make a lot of medicines to save all the sentient beings. She made a lot of medicine, medicine to save all the sentient beings. And he, she had a lot of merits. However, she did not receive the Tao. So our 18 material, Simu, uh, bring her to receive Tao. She, so she always, always very appreciated when she received Tao. And she always called us brother and sister, okay? Worthy brother and sister, okay? Because she also a disciple of the Patria and Matria. It's very too, it's too difficult to be given this kind of special time. Cherish it well. We don't, we may not feel enough like as they do, okay? They, from Buddha sense point of view, it's very, very, very difficult to have this kind, this kind of reunion with Holy Mother all together with us. Very special. They want, she want, they want us to cherish it well, okay? Way quickly, quickly for merciful, merciful Lao Mus to compose the holy scriptures. So you can see when Holy Mother, before morning, Holy Mother came down, you see all the saints Buddha come, came down one by one and give us all the wisdom words, give us all the instructions. Very, very special. So this only happened uh, since I was, I've been in the temple for 28 years. This is the only time I have seen it. I have saw it and I heard about it in temple. So very, very seldom, doesn't happen too often, okay? So we should take this opportunity uh, to, to learn it, uh, what Buddhas and Holy, Holy Mother will talk to us and all the Buddha saints and Bodhisattva will talk to us. We'll learn it and we'll cherish the opportunities. Next one, we're gonna talk about uh, in a, in a special class, you always see two. One is a Zheng Dian, Yan Shuai. I just put a couple of pictures there for people to see Zheng Dian Shuai. The other one is Zheng Dian Jiangjun. Zheng Dian Jiangjun is also is a, the other general, okay? This is Marshall, this is the other general. And he is always, Zheng Dian Jiangjun, in the Dharma class, he always recorded down. When we're doing good, when we're doing bad, she give us all, he will give us all the credit and also the credit depending on what we have done, okay? And report it to heaven, okay? So every Dharma class also every uh, special event and classes, he always there to record it. Her, his job is recorded individuals activities, what they have done, okay? Even what we saw, when we have good thought, they might give, he might give us good credit. When we have the best thought, then we will, he would 
also market in red for all of us. Okay, so Zheng Dian Yan Shuai and Zheng Dian Jiang Jun. Okay, he's a marshal and he's a general. Okay, their their duty is to protect the dignity and temple regulation, and also the order of temple. Their job is to protect the temple. Okay, so they record everything we have done, and they make sure we follow the temple rules and regulation. Okay, they protect the Tao principles and heavenly official orders and mandate. Okay, so when we are performing the Tao receiving ceremony, it goes smoothly. Yeah, so they are protecting not just human beings there, protecting all the spirits. A lot of the spirits, we will not be able to see the surrounding the areas. They are also protecting the temple, all the spirits there. So it's unique, very special, very precious, precious, because when we people are receiving down, we don't see that today, we may not know how precious it is yet. Until the moment we are ready to leave this world, we will know how precious to receive down. Because if we receive down, we have enough merits and virtues. Then we know one day we need to go, we know where we want to go. Then when we go there, it's different. We don't have to go underworld. We don't go, we don't have to go to hell. That's the big difference when we receive the Tao and have merits and virtues. But after we receive Tao, we don't go, don't go to the temple. We don't know the three treasuries. We don't have merits. We don't have virtues. What happened? It's very bad at the moment. Yeah. So we need to know the three treasuries after we receive Tao. And then when people receive Tao, they forgot three treasuries. We need to bring that back to the temple to review that. Make sure they remember that. Make sure they remember that. And we also have to accumulate enough merits, credit, and virtues before we go back. Okay? Make sure we correct enough merits, virtues, and credit to go back. Okay? Tao receiving ceremony is very special because all the generals, all the marshals are there. All the saints and Buddha, Bodhisattvas are there. So it's not just we saw human beings are there. If people have in young eyes, they can see all the saints and Buddhas, they are all there. Okay? We're going to talk one by one. Okay? This is uh, Zhen Dian. He is the, we call Zhen Dian Marshal. Okay? Guardian Marshal Zheng Dian, okay? Senior disciple of Meng Meng, okay? He is also leading the, the Mao Zi. He also leading the, the remember Yin Yu Bodhisattva leading more than 3,000 immortals. He also leading his class too, to the temple. So it's not just he came by himself, he came by himself. He's leading the whole class, okay? And then he's a senior disciple, Meng Meng. Okay, his last name is like Zhang, okay, Zhang Mao Zhang Mao, Zhang Mao Meng, okay. Yeah, it's Zhang Mao Meng Meng, okay. Also called Zhang Senior Disciple. He's a disciple of our, our holy teachers too, okay. Yeah. And now he was conferred uh, him, Lao Mu, uh, give him the title, Zhen Dian Yuan Shuai, okay? So a lot of classes, he always, especially this kind of special event, he is there in the temple, okay? And he's protecting the, the holy teacher and mothers, holy, holy uh, spiritual mothers to the temple, yeah. And he give us some wisdom words first before he talk about his title. What Dharma treasures does Zheng Dian have? Zheng Dian means in charge, okay? Dharma, righteous, righteousness energy. Righteous energy is a scale, scale treasures, okay? It's, scale treasures means there are only insufficient treasures for the demand, only very, very seldom. 
Only a little bit, not too often. But from Buddha point of view, from sense point of view, righteousness energy is the more, most important as a person. Okay? When we have a righteous energy, very positive, very pure energy, you know what? All the saints and Buddha, even ghosts will respect us. Even ghosts will respect us if we have righteous energy. Okay, that's very important. What secret? Okay, this is even interesting uh, here. What secret is there to settle down the living environment? We always think about settle down a very nice living environment. Very important, what? Have a large luxury house, beautiful car. The most people we will think about that way, right? Let's have living good, the best living environment, right? But from Buddha and God point of view, generous, kindness, and compassion are the key in passing to the future generation. Generous. Kindness and compassion are the keys in passing to the future generation, to our children, grand grandchildren. Okay, but Da, Buddha, generals, they don't think that way. We much don't think that way. But human beings, we are pursued like big house, luxury house, big, big cars, or other things, juries. Okay, but from Da and Buddha point of view, no, that's not what they are pursuing. It's deep inside. They want their Buddha nature. All the, all the features of Buddha nature will reveal, will come out. Okay? So with conscience, in, it's in charge. Yeah, that's more important than what we human beings think. Okay? So this, the right, the two big paragraphs, what send in, the insight give to us. Now, after he gave, he, he gave all of us the wisdom word, now he's talking about his titles. I'm a guardian marshal, Zhen Dian, senior disciple Mao Meng, leading the entire class of Mao Zi, means all the class members under him follow, come with him. So that's, yeah, so that's in your Purisawa. In protection of Lamu's arrival to the mundane world. So in he, usually the other Buddha might come say we are following Naomu arrival to the temple, to the Mandan world. But he's in the protection of Laomu's arrival to the Mandan world. He's a marshal. Yeah, the other one gonna be a general. That's different, they have different job functions there. We have entered the temple. Hurry to pay obeisance to Laomu. Are you well, brothers and sisters? See, the first thing they come down, came down, they hurried to pay the obsense to Lamu. So the same thing, when we go to the temple, we had to be quickly uh, to pay the obsense to Lamu too. Okay, everybody should remember that. Don't, don't just, don't talk, keep talking or do something else. Just go to the temple and then take a bow first before we do anything else, okay? We always get used to that. Now, are you aware, brother and sister? Then he gave us some wisdom words after he gave, a, he gave us his titles. Focus and hold your mind and spirit. Follow the temple rules and regulations. So he told us, uh, was, uh, want us to calm, calm down and hold our mind and spirit. Sometimes we, our mind, during this uh, special event, because sometimes we think we could think of something else. Now he wants us to focus and also hold our mind and spirits very calm, okay? And follow the temple regulation and rules. Okay, very important there, okay? Yeah, Buddha always come down and General Marshall came down to tell us that. One was affinity meeting. Oh, they call, he called he call a they call it, now Huang Mu means, Huang Mu means God or Holy Spiritual Mother or Nao Mu, the same, the same name, okay? Huang Mu's affinity meeting is no ordinary, ordinary thing, ordinary matter. So very, very special event, okay? Huang Mu's affinity meeting, very, very, very special event. Be careful 
and be and cautions, and one should be a good worthy. He said, if we can be careful and worthy and follow the all all the items above, then what we can be good worthy. Okay, yeah, he they just give us some kind of uh, instructions uh, for all of us. Next one, we're going to talk about. There's a three classes uh, in the heaven. One's in your Bodhisattva. One is Zhen Dian. Zhen Dian, Guardian Marshal Zhen Dian. The second one, they have a class. They are all the member coming down. The third class. He's leading the, all the immortals to come down. That's a we'll see the the the, uh, the picture first. He's our Wu Chan Shishong means he's the elderly disciple of Wu Chan. Okay, we're going to talk about that. So there are three classes. Follow all three individual. One is Marshall, one is Bodhisattva, the other one is Wu Chan, elderly disciples. Okay. Let's see what he wants to talk to us. He said, awaken yeah, and see through what things cannot be seen. What does that mean? Save a provoked disaster. Lead one to fail, to fall, to the bitter seed, bounding oneself. This very wisdom words here, okay? Especially the first, first panel. Awaken and see through what thing cannot be seen. You know what? He wants awaken. Because human being, Sometimes we think at night time we, we have a dream. But from God and Buddha point of view, we also have a dream during the daytime. What does that mean? We are pursuing the fame, the, the material stuff like fame, power, wealth, all the material stuff. That's a dream too, because they know send the Buddha and even the God also know we cannot bring those stuff with us when we leave this world. We cannot bring with us. We only have the right to use it. Even the house, the car, or others, we only have the right to use it. We don't have the right to own it. What does that mean? Means when we leave this world, all those items, the name of those items will be changed. Even if we have name on the house today, once we leave this world, the name will be changed in a few days. So we only have the right to use it. We don't have the right to own it. Okay? So that's Buddha trying to teach us. Try to tell us again and again. But human being, we are not awakened. We are not awakened. We think when I see the house, when we see the house, we see the car, we see all the jewelries. They are all real. They are all real. From Buddha point of view, no, they are not real. Because when we close our eyes, when we, we leave this world, they don't mean nothing to us. They don't mean nothing to us. We only, whatever mean to us, only our merits, virtues, and karma. Okay? So we need to accumulate enough merits or credit and virtues. Not create too many, too much karmas for ourselves. From Buddha's point of view, they try to send us a warning, hint, instruction. But are we awakened? It depends on individuals. It depends on all of us individually. So, so see through what thing cannot be seen. Means all those material stuff, we think we need that. We want that. But however, from God, Buddha's point of view, that's not for real. Not for real. Only temporary. As long as we have enough, that's fine. But don't overdo. A lot of time we pursue it. We are so exhausted. 
trying to pursue a lot of stuff, material stuff. We save, we create the disasters. Okay, we also lead ourselves to fall into these bitter seeds. And then we find, we tighten ourselves in this situation. We cannot get out from there. We continue to reincarnate. Reincarnation means we birth, death, we birth again. We keep, we, it's a cycle. We couldn't get out from this cycle. But there's only one way we, we can get out in this lifetime. We are very fortunate and lucky, I tell you. All of us are very fortunate and lucky group. But only small percent of people in the whole world, unfortunately. We receive Tao. If we are waiting to cultivate, propagate Tao, have in, bring people to receive Tao, we have enough merit, credit, or virtues. We can go back in this lifetime. No matter what we have done in past life, doesn't matter. We can go back, become saints and Buddha in this lifetime. But sometimes people say, then you have motivation there to want, you want to become a Buddha. But you know, we don't need to have motivation. We just do it. The God and Buddha will automatically give us a title. But we could, we could when we go back to heaven, we talk about absolute heaven. Then you, we can continue to make a vow to come down again to save all the sentient beings. But when Buddha or saints came down again, they make a vow to come down, came down, come down again. They can choose where, where they want to reborn, which family do they want to reborn. They can choose. However, most people today came down to reborn, they do not have a choice because their karma, a lot of people come down this world because of their karma. So they were, they have no choice. But when Buddha and Saints came down to reborn, they do have a choice to where they want to go. But usually they choose the place. They can receive the Tao again. They can cultivate, propagate Tao. Usually they can do that. Our senior gene transmitter, the sisters, uh, he went, we have a new union with her and all the Tao members, parents and relatives. And then senior gene transmitters, older sister told us he went to reborn in China. He went to, she went to reborn in China, sorry. She went to reborn in China. So, but we didn't know where she goes. Okay, we don't, but she went to reborn in China. She chose the place she can receive Tao. She chose the place he can, she can save more Saint Jinping. So they can, they have a choice. They know where to go, okay? All of us, when we, we were in the heaven, we are all Buddha reborn. We are all Buddha at that moment and sense of Buddha. When we came down to this world, we also make a vow. We want to do the same thing. However, a lot of us, a lot of us forgot. We make a vow in the heaven. We make a vow in heaven. So Buddha always said, or um, even the temple host, Lin Changku said, whatever the vow we make in the heaven, it's the same vow we make this world now. Whatever, whatever the vow we make in heaven, it's the same vow we may making, same vow we are making today. Okay, there's no difference. Okay. Then the Wu Chan elderly disciple told us, come and understand deeply, save cultivate, bless, cultivate blessing and virtues is followed by safe. Confirmations, confirmation to the Buddha position, and one should achieve with it. That's a, the, what we need to do. He said, we need to come. We need to understand deeply, understand completely. Why? Understand this, all the material stuff, fame, power, position will not take forever, will not be there forever. Only we need to have merit, virtues, and, and credit. We need to continue to self create it cultivate blessings. It means we need to do more things to help the sentient being. And we need to accumulate enough virtues. Then what happened after that? Then we were, we were safe, confirm, confirmed to, to the Buddha position. Then we would become a sense of Buddha again. If we have enough virtues, enough blessings, what happened? We will become a sense of Buddha again. And we will get relieved 
from this Peter C. That's what he means. Okay. But it takes a lot of wisdom to know that. Okay. Take a lot of wisdom to awaken. Not everybody will be awakened. We are all pursuing, especially holy teacher, living Qigong living Buddha, always talk about America. We are in this very, very uh, special fortune uh, land. Sometimes we over pursue for the fame and power and, and then wealth. We over pursue. That's all. Qigong Buddha, Qigong living Buddha worry about all of us. He said in the staff member class in New York City, he told all of us, we over pursuing all our stuff. We are not awakened, okay? We are not know, we don't see through what we should see through, okay? So elderly disciple Wu Chan told us that. So we need to tell us this, uh, Scripture is going to take a few times to finish that. But these are very important scriptures. If all of us have a time, we should go back to review that. We will learn a lot how to cultivate, what to do in our life. Okay? Then he's talk about his titles. Okay. I am the elderly disciples, Wu Chan, leading the entire class of Wu Zi. The whole class, Wu Zi class, okay? In the protection of Lao descendants to the maintain what is their job is in the protection of Lao Mu's arrival. We have arrived at the Yi Gong temple. Quickly, we pay obeisance to Lao Mu, okay? Everybody doing the same thing quickly to do that. Brother and sisters must be cautious and not think and move randomly. So when you see all the saints, Buddha, Bodhisattva, Marshall, Jeno, all the grand predecessors, predecessors, they all talk about the same thing. So now think and move randomly, okay? We need to manage ourselves, calm down, okay? Yeah, and he give us a couple uh, paragraph with wisdom words. Diligently follow all temple rules and regulation. They keep talking about <laughs> temple rules and regulation, right? That's probably the, one of the most important things as a cultivator. In order to manifest, to show the dignity of the town, temple hall. So that's very important. During this uh, special event, you know, everybody kneel down because normally you, when visitation from the center Buddha, usually we can stand for two, three hours without problem. But when the Holy Mother is coming down, whole event, everybody near down. Very, very, very special. Not an ordinary event. Okay. We, we are not there because a lot of people there, they have the near down. Okay. Ask ourselves, we must not offend any temple rules and regulations. Okay. So we have to be careful, especially at the moment. Understand? Okay. So they keep reminding the people, but it's not just people there. All the same Buddha channels and Gulaomu came down from the heaven, up, from the F, up to the heaven. Even all the ancestors, all, a lot of creditors we all in previous life, they all came down together, but they have the near in the back, okay? So the very, very special event. It's not just human being can see it, but our ancestors, they all came down together, okay? Very special, this kind of events that happen too often, okay? It happened only once in our temple last 30 years. So next one, we're gonna talk about, everybody should know about our Qigong Living Buddha, right? Who is, how do we receive that? Qigong Buddha, Borrowed transmitting master's hand to open our gate. To pass the three treasuries to all of us. That's Qigong Living Buddha did it. Okay? Not transmitter. Transmitter is also human being, a human being too. Transmitter is human being too. But they only have a day. Okay? Transmitter has a day. Okay? Have to go through special process. Okay? Have to have a day. And then it's not, we approach. Transmitting master is not 
are not applied for themselves, by themselves. No, this is appointed from the temple and headquarters, okay? And this is Yehui Bhusa. So we know the 18 patria and matria, Yehui uh, Bodhisattva, okay? Uh, so if I should get the opportunity to know them, yeah. Qigong Buddha, Qigong Living Buddha, and also Yehui Bodhisattva. What's the reason people call him Qigong Living Buddha? Qigong Buddha is a, is a person in Song Dynasty, Song Dynasty. But when he was alive, she, he always saved all the sentient beings. So all the, everybody, even kids know him. Even kids know him. So at that time, he's like a living Buddha already. So for, for all of us, it's not say, okay, I'm doing good thing. One day I want to become a Buddha or saint. No. When, when Qigong Buddha, Qigong living Buddha, when he was alive, he was a living Buddha already. Because he's keep doing that. So we need to keep doing things, save all the sentient beings like a living Buddha. By the time we're ready to go back, we will become a sense of Buddha again, okay? But we need to keep doing when we are still around the world, in the, stay in the world. Not waiting until the moment we have to leave and become a sense of Buddha, no, okay? You know what Qigong living Buddha and the Yehwe Bodhisattva taught us? Okay, we are, let's listen to what I have to say. One, one's true nature is originally still, pure, and dignified, like the sun and moon, round and bright. Round means perfect and complete. So our true nature, our Buddha nature, sometimes we call true nature, sometimes we call Buddha nature, or we call origins. Those, those true natures is original still, very, and very pure. Very innocent, okay, in, okay, very dignified, but we didn't know that. So, like the sun and moon, it's a perfect, it's br very bright, okay. The next sentence, she's going to be put on, going to the every Bodhisattva talk about. Our true nature knows heaven and earth, knows everything. Our true nature knows everything, extending far and beyond. There's no boundary, okay? Understanding the origin, they know they connect to the things in the past and present, okay? Which is in this one point. What does that mean? You know, when Saints and Buddha, all the general, they came in down, even Buddha. Let's let's talk about Qigong Living Buddha. When they came down to the temple, Su Chenon, they know everybody's past and what's gonna happen in the future. They know. Okay, but why? Because they have a true nature. But why, why, why we cannot see that? Why? Because our spirits, what's different between our spirits or our soul and the true nature, Buddha nature? What's the difference? Because our soul still, have, our spirits still have, we have a bad temper, bad habits. We have desires. We have attachments. We have three poisons, greed, anger, stubbornness, or ignorance. We have low stuff and others, which our true nature does not have originally. But we, due to the post heavens, and we have those kind of problems, the attachment, attach, desires, all those stuff, which we don't have originally. So we need to, to cultivate we need to get rid of all the true nature that doesn't have, did not have original, like all those stuff, okay? That's why we need to calm down every day, get rid of all the attachment, desires, bad temper, bad habit, and three poisons. Don't get ang ang anger, greed, and all stubbornness. All gotta, we have to get rid of all those stuff. Once we don't have those stuff, then what? We are like Buddha. They know the past, they know the present, okay? And we are very fortunate to know that. So all the, to cultivate the most important things to make our true nature, our true Buddha nature revealed. Always let our true nature, our Buddha nature 
our conscience in charge. Okay? Some people might take advantage of, of us. Fine. Fine. God and Buddha will compensate us if we, because somebody take advantage of us. Don't worry about that. That's a little thing. God and Buddha are watching all the time. Are watching all the time. So that's why Chikoni Bin Buddha and Yewe Kwani Buddha will talk about our true nature. Very important. That's why Holy Teacher want us to, to listen, to get rid, to do the, get rid of all the affinities. Do not waste a single thought. One hour per day. One hour per day. It's not easy to do it. Even we can do a few minutes, that's fine. But try to do every day. Get used to that. Okay? When Buddha is sitting on the statues, you know what Buddha do? Or did Buddha in heaven? You know what they do? Do not raise a single thought. Get rid of all the affinities. That's all, all the, everybody should do, okay? Okay. We don't need to do the meditation. Meditation, holy teacher said we don't, even the grand predecessors always remind us, uh, we don't do the meditation. Some people do the meditation, meditation exercise. That's very good. Very good for the, our physical body. That's good exercise. Okay, clear all, all the worries, all the stuff. And then also help ourselves very well. That's a good job. But uh, we can do even more, more than meditation, okay? Meditation will help our physical body because people do not need to sleep then much. They can have less sleep and still have other energy. But we need to do get the exercise of get rid of all the affinities Do not raise a single thought, okay? Get rid of all the affinities Do not raise a single thought. So sometimes we can close our eyes about 80%. Let our tongue touch the top, okay? Then let our calm ourselves down. Let our to, to make so that our Buddha nature in charge, okay? So get rid of all the stuff which we don't need, okay? Don't even think anything at all at the moment. But the reason we open the eyes, close, close, close eyes only eight percent, eighty percent, because medication, meditation. There's a, one challenge there, meditation. Uh, one challenge from that. Because sometimes that people do the meditations, uh, their spirits will come up, came, will come up from their body. The spirits or soul will come up from their body. Uh, it, did, it did happen to one of the one lady in my in my uh, community. She can do that. Uh, her spirit come up from her, her body. But that's very dangerous. Uh, why? Because there one thing happened to our town member in Taiwan temple. Because this person doing the meditation, and then his spirit came out from his body. However, this the an invisible invisible spirit got into his body. The invisible spirit got into his body, so he he couldn't go back to his original body. So that's what happened to him. And he came to talk to us. What happened to him? So he was crying. Ask holy teacher to take to take him back. Yeah, so that happened to him. So we have to be careful. We don't need to let our spirit come out from come out from our body because there are so many invisible invisible spirits around us that might take advantage of our physical body. We may not be able to go back. So be careful there, okay? Yeah. So the holy teacher want us to do the exercise of get rid of all the affinities, do not raise a single thought. We don't need to do meditation. We don't need to do that, okay? So the Buddha's holy teacher keep remind us all the time, okay? We need to follow their wisdom, okay? Okay. We are two, we two, Qigong Living Buddha and Yehwe Bodhisattva in service to Lamu's descendants to the mundane world, so they came down, okay, to this, to the mundane, to the world. We have entered the temple, we have entered the temple and pay obsense to Lamu first. Yeah, everybody do that first, okay? Pay obsense to Lamu first, always. Coming upon to the mother nature day of the spring of servants, we congratulate Lamu. It's like Lamu's uh, birthday, only four times a year. But it's okay. But this is a special event that doesn't happen to 
normal, every normal birthday only happen once a while in the temple. So this happened only once in our temple last 30 years. So you can see this scripture is very, very unique, very special, okay? We feel boundless, merciful grace. This is from the Lamu. The heavenly blessings spread over the world, protecting those with affinity. So we are, we are, the, we are one of them. We are the very fortunate to receive the heavenly blessing. Okay? Because we have affinity with Lamu, with Buddhas, with all our, our, our town members. We have cultivated so many lifetimes before this moment. We have cultivated so many lives before this moment. Okay, it's not come, come, We don't come here by accident. We have cultivated. In order to receive down, we need to cultivate at least three lifetimes before this life, at least. Okay, and then in order to attend the Dharma classes, we need to cultivate. We need to cultivate more than five lifetimes before this life. All right, we have no chance to receive down. One time I was in Pennsylvania and uh, there's some people were received out. So I went to, we went through the ceremony, receiving our ceremony. The last lady, she will not name me. Uh, Holy teacher tried to borrow my hand to open her gate. She will not let Holy teacher do that. So she didn't receive out. She didn't receive out. But we went back a few times. She still didn't receive out. You know what happened? She, uh, later, later on, I asked them why. And then the, the family member told me she had little mental health, mental health problems. So her creditor of commas will not let her receive that. Her creditor will not let her receive that. So sometimes we don't see that. So we, to receive that is very special. All the teacher always said, Every time we come to the temple, or town member want to come to the temple to receive Tao, holy teacher always hold, hold his breath because he worried about last moment, our creditor of karmas will pull us back or not allow us to receive Tao. So we don't see that. We don't see that. Holy teacher keep talking to us all of us. So to receive Tao, it's not just bring anyone to receive Tao, no. We need to check individual's background. We need to know the person. We need to know what they are doing. So before they receive that, anyone before we let them receive that, we need to know their background. We need to know what they are doing. All the details we should know. We need to report to the, the temple host or lecturers and transmitter, let transmitter know the, all those stuff before the person to receive that. We have to be careful, okay? Even, uh, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, senior gene transmitter and, and all transmitter and me, we asked holy teacher and I asked holy teacher if the person has severe sickness, very, very sick, can we let the person receive down? You know what holy teacher said, me, me, me answered? Holy teacher said, unless his or, his or her whole family members receive down, and also cultivate together in the, in the te temple. Otherwise, they cannot receive that. And I asked Holy, I, I was at a question. I asked Holy Teacher, what happened if their whole family cannot cultivate in the temple, in the cultivate together? Only one can cultivate. What happened? Teacher said, no. No. Means his or her affinity to receive that is not mature yet. We cannot do it. So sometimes we take the Tao too lightly, too lightly. Holy teacher mentioned that. It's not what you guys think. And we, one time I remember doing the Dharma class and, um, and Holy teacher said, one time in Dharma class, you know what happened? And teacher said, because Dharma class, there's two day Dharma classes. And the one thing happened in, in that particular event a few years ago, teacher said, some people came to the Dharma class, but they didn't come yesterday. Means on the day two, holy teacher said, the, per, the, they didn't, the, the person didn't come yesterday. How come he can come to the Dharma class? 
And then sometimes we are trying to be so kind, but teachers say, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. If he didn't come the first day, he cannot come on the day two. Okay, that's how precious, how restricted on these temporal rules and regulations. Sometimes we didn't follow the rule and temporal regulation. We broke the rule. We broke temporal regulation. Yeah, we have to, we, we have to take the responsibility. Then, and then one person asked 40 teachers, said the other town member asked 40 teachers, said, and then if he doesn't come this time, he will lose affinity to, to the Tao in this lifetime. And the holy teacher answered it. How do you know that? How do you know that? So human being, human being, we saw only now, at this moment, at this in the future, future life, future days. But Buddhas, holy, holy, holy teacher see the future life, not just this lifetime. Human being, we only see now. So we think, okay, if he don't come today, he may not come in, next time, next in the future, in the near future. But Buddha don't see that. If we push them to receive Tao, push them to attend the Dharma class, however, they are not ready. Their affinity are not ready. What happened? It will not help them. It will hurt them. You know why? You know why? Because some people receive Tao. Because they are not ready to receive. They are forced to receive. They, they, after they receive Tao, they, talk, they go home. And they talk about something negatively. They thought talk about something badly. They, they create a karma for themselves. They create a karma for themselves. They will not help them of the dark journey in the future. So we don't see that. We need to know that. So in the future, we need the more that whoever wants to receive that, we need to know their background. We need to know background. Okay. And <clears throat> introducer and sponsor always had to be there. Because I was in Taiwan, uh, they have a transmitting master's class every year in the Chinese New Year, every year. Then they always talk about when they, when people want to receive that, the introducers and sponsors have to be there. The introducers and sponsors have to be there. Sometimes we don't do that. We need to adjust that. Okay. So a lot of little things, temporal regulation, we need to follow through. We don't follow through we take responsibility, okay? So we, we, need to know, we need to know that. Disciples, you have benefit from heaven's grace and must remember, in, remember, it, remember it in your heart constantly because we are very fortunate and lucky to receive that, to be able to cultivate, propagate that, and also share with all these Holy Mother Scripture together. We are very, very fortunate group, I tell you. How many people in the whole world, seven billion plus people, only how many people can receive, receive that and also study together like all of us? We need to cherish this very special event and opportunity, okay? And then we must not take <clears throat> now most affinity meeting lightly. Don't take this special the almost affinity meeting that we need to take it seriously. Very, very unique. Disciple, keep your hands to the side, Miss Strayer. You must present yourself with an even greater behavior and have true sincerity so that you can connect to Namu, Namu's presence. Understand? Means we need to calm down, concentrate, and don't don't run, don't let our mind run randomly. Run, don't let our mind everywhere, go everywhere. We need to manage ourselves, our thought, and our physical body, and waiting for the Lamu to come down to give us wisdom instructions. So we're going to stop here. If I say, say something improperly, I ask forgiveness from the Lamu. Holy transmitters, holy masters, and holy teachers, and lectures, temple hosts, and all of you to give me some advices. Thank you, everybody.